Oh my gosh. Eight hours of this? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're on the It would take them five seconds to be on those rocks. to go down and check the anchor to make sure we're nice and tight so that we don't drag anchor in the night. It's supposed to get up to 40 and 50 knot winds tonight. So it could be dicey. There goes Keith. What is happening here? Use your arms, your arms, your arms. I don't know what's like happening this. here. And that's what it's going to be like. Oh, you're going to kite on his back? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. are gonna get in the water and check the anchor. Yeah we are. Thank you. Windy day. It is super windy. We gotta make sure. Do you even know what that means to check the anchor? Yep. <laughs> make sure it's in the sando right and there then we're you not go. dragging. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And this is how you defog your mask. mask. Spit. Good old nature mouth bacteria. <laughs> how was kiting Kate? It was good. It was short-winded because I'm very, very sore. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I kind of. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get in the water, but get in the water. I did the new trick. You did. I got some <laughs> stuff on film. It's awesome. It's chilly, and I need to pee. Oh, <laughs> well, you feel free. <laughs> yeah, this quality is gonna be terrible. Oh my gosh, it's like an Arctic plunge. Come on. Lori, there's also a light on the side if you need more light down there. On the side? Oh. Yep. Uh, all right. Three, two, one, go! Woo! Today, Laura's got official kite lessons right, from Keith Whitaker. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. How do you feel it? Feel the difference for sure. Oh, you're doing good. You should keep doing what you're doing. Good job, Lori. Good job. Good work. 
going. Okay. Push down on your back heel okay. and raise both your toes up. Yep. And push your heels down and straighten the front leg out. So we didn't drag last night. We had 45 plus knots of wind, and uh, so that was good. So today I am changing out. We got our new uh, CTM. Hold on, I'll open these up. New CTM thermostats in that go with our CTM air conditioners and heaters. Look at these bad boys. I'm excited. I knew you would be. I knew you would be. Yeah. And just like that, there we go. Which ones do you like better? They look identical to me. It's like you asking me which shirt do you like better? The blue one or the blue one? Which one do you like better? Uh, again, they look identical. One's black, one's squared, one has rounded uh, edges. I don't really care. You, you make the call. I'll leave that up to you. Hmm. Which one do you like better? I like the gray, I think. Gray looks better. Yeah. Okay, so pretty. We don't yes. need the air conditioner right now. We don't. It's kind of chilly outside. Nope. They sent me a CTM sticker. I guess I'll... Did your computer back up last night, really? Nope. It is backing up right now. It's got 14 hours left. Okay. It is taking forever. All right, it's good enough. All right, so when we got the air conditioners, the CTM air conditioners shipped to us down in uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, they only had uh, four easy starts for micro air. So micro air sent us these, uh, the three more easy starts. And what these does, they're called soft starters or easy starts. They uh, make it where your uh, electrical load on all your battery banks isn't as much because they have a capacitor in here and it stores energy, which causes it to, to when the compressor starts, it takes a high amperage load it creates a lower load on the batteries and all your battery bank and anything running. I just had to refresh my memory on how the wiring goes here into the uh, board on the uh, CTM unit. So I've done that. They've got a nice little schematic here. So now I just gotta go install three of these into uh, the three rooms, Kate's room, Jack's room, and the kite room. And we're in good shape. <laughs> I know this stuff looks complicated and you know this is these are some of the kind of things we teach in blue water cruising about things that are important 
is understanding electric electricity and stuff like this and this is on the more complex side you wouldn't need to understand but this is hard it's it's not rocket science to figure this stuff out so if you get a chance and you're interested in what the logistics of this lifestyle is about check out blue water cruising because that's where you can learn a lot about this lifestyle and what to expect and and what you can have to deal with out here Want to get started on your own Blue Water journey? Blue Water Cruising can help you turn your dreams into reality. In our online workshops, we share all the secrets society doesn't want you to know about how to get out of the rat race and live a life of freedom and adventure. BlueWaterCruisingPlan.com All right, that piece is done. I have one more wire. This is the brown wire. we got to put an end on it. And before we started sailing, I would have never done any of this. Ever. I mean, I, it would have been like, it would have been foreign to me to do this stuff. I would have been like, no, I don't think so. And now look at me. I'm like, it's a second nature to me. Superman. Well, you know, I am a special dude. Special me. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm sort of a big deal. People know me. I don't know how to put this, but kind of a big deal really people know me I'm very happy for you I'm very important uh, I have many leather-bound books and my apartment smells of rich mahogany <laughs> when you buy a terminal kit these little ends like this then you have terminal kits on your boat Make sure you always buy the kind that had the insulation, insulated glue inside. So when you melt it, the glue seals it up and it seals all around it. It's very important for terminal kits, especially in the marine environment. Hey Jack, will you start the little generator and turn on Kate's air conditioner? Yep. I should have. There it is. You can feel that. You can feel that working. And, it, and it's what's it's done is this compressor right here. It takes a lot of juice to start it. It's called a cold. I don't know what's it called a, a, a shaft cranking amps or something like that. Anyway, it creates a lot more juice stored in here so that it doesn't hurt and load down all of our electronics on the boat. I'm not a real electronics whiz, but it's easy enough to install. It's done. It worked. We're gonna put everything back together. Jack, you can flip that switch off. Watch my video, and then you'll know. Really? Mm-hmm. You're such a mystery. Maybe if you went out, you could find a wife. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, find a little Spanish Lolita. Lolita! What I are you don't making? Ooh, potatoes. A breakfast hash. I'm really excited. I used to make this every day. Not every day. Every week, back at home. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Kate, how are you spending your Sunday? I'll be drawing, and then I think we're gonna go try and cliff jump these cliffs Ooh. down. Ooh. So yeah, that'd be cool. All right, so we're looking at weather window to uh, Gibraltar, okay. and the weather window don't open until around the twenty, the twenty-eighth. We still got all this wind right here. Yeah, so. Basically, Sunday the 30th, Saturday the 28th, or Sunday the 29th, we got a window to get from Ibiza down to Gibraltar. What an anchorage. Man, oh man, it's rough. Anchorage. I feel like we're on passage. You think we're dragging or not? I don't know. I don't know if it's just slack in the chain. No. Finally straightened out because it's holding right now. Good shower. Yeah, Jackson, we gotta check the anchor. 
You haven't you checked the anchor when it's cold, cold outside? That is the worst, man. These are the worst. I can only think of one thing that could be worse. When you go to the mall. You're at the mall and your friends aren't there yet. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Point is in, so if it does fall on it, it was there. Does it look like it came out, spun around, or something? No. Doesn't look like we drugged. No. Chain is straight. Is, there yeah, a lot yeah. of, is the chain laying on the bottom or is it picked up? It's on the bottom. So there's there's a lot of chain. A lot of chain. All right, good. So I don't think we drugged it. Yeah. I think it'll be okay. chain laying on the ground. Dude, our boat like, wasn't even picking up the chain. No, it wasn't even on the anchor. It was like one to almost one third to almost half. Uh, was all the chain out of the one box? I think we're right here in the, I think we're right in the, the biggest part of this coming around here. Bro, it's going to be rough over there. It's going to be rough on the other side. I'm telling you. Should have just gone to the other spot. I don't know where there's another spot. Oh, the outstreamer found it. I don't know where he went. I looked all along the shoreline. So you think we're gonna move or what? I don't know. It's another seven hours, eight hours. Oh my gosh, eight hours of this? Yeah, and we're gonna have to be on watch. Yeah. Because if something snaps, somebody's gotta turn the engines on and get us off the rocks. So we're gonna have watch, night shifts while we're anchored. We're gonna have night shift while we're anchored until until the wind shifts. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. We can pull a hook up, and in an hour and a half, we'll be down behind a, a lee where it's flat water. Yeah, now it's trail. You can go sit out in the ocean? No, no, we can be an hour and a half, we can be down behind the lee where it's flat water. Okay. Cool. 
gonna do. I don't know. What you gonna do when they come for you? As we prepare for a rough night, we put the dinghy up just in case we have to pull anchor and get out of there fast. Good morning. How was your night? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Made it through the night. Hell warmed over right there. Gosh. Probably the worst anchorage. The wind only blew for like 12 hours out of the east, southeast. But it made, I guarantee we had two meter swells rolling into this anchorage from just 12 hours then. That's and crazy. the wind was in over 20 knots. I mean, I've been in anchorage where the wind's blown for days at 20 knots and not had swell like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Well, we're going to move now that everything's calmed down. We're going to get out away from the boats, away from the people, and maybe do some more kiting. I don't know. We're watching the weather, Just trying to get out of here and head to Gibraltar soon. So, thanks for watching. Have a great week, and don't forget BlueWaterCruisingPlan.com. Bye.